What is going on YouTube? Simpson Johnny here and I'm bringing you another survival gameplay on MW3. It is on the map of Oasis and guys, this is one of the best ever survival gameplays I've ever done. If my Xbox Live had not died because of a storm where I live, I would be in the top, I would, I would be about rank 121 in the whole world for Oasis on Solo. Anyway guys, so I'm rocking that here, you can see you get a model, a pistol, and then um, self revive armor, and what usually stun them up at this early round. So anyway guys, I used most of the pistol and knife at the start, I didn't do very well, but round one I had a bit of a mare really. I took a lot of damage, and my, to be honest, this area here guys is going to be the, my main traffic area. This area here, and the one right at the back, so you can see it, round one, it's just simple pistol, I, I don't know why, I missed the point blank shot there, that was poor there, I missed again, I don't know how, so it's quite embarrassing, I jump off, and how the hell do I get a hit marker at round one, please, leave a comment out there, that was a proper, and that was a double, sit down my friend, I miss a knife there, and switched off pistol, and I didn't realise there was never that time, so teabag, 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 land, 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 that knife, sit down, so, so there we are guys, so far so good, my tips for this map, I, I in an early video I told you to pick up an, an enemy weapon off the floor and keep that, I mean, in this gameplay I do something completely different, I pick up an M MP90 and an LA6SW, I think on top of my head, they're the guns I use for the game, and see guys at this round I build up a lot of points here, one kill, two kills, three kills, look, every shot, look at that, 2,000, you'll see at the end of this round, I think I get nearly 10,000 points. So I'm still, I'm so I'm still rocking out really well. And guys, you're going to see me, but whoa, <laughs> the guy to the side of me didn't see him. So guys, you can see, I'm, I love my survival mode, as I mentioned probably loads of times. I love it so much. It's just so much fun to play. And there we are, guys. Round two complete, and I've already got 10,000 dollars. So. What could be better? So anyway, guys, I probably I find my uh, machine gun and I make a stupid area. You're gonna see it in a second. I buy the grip and I think yeah, and then I buy the AK obviously the red dot. That cost me a lot of points, so I was not very pleased with that. But anyway, guys, so I've got my my light machine gun for next round for the juggernaut round at round four, and you can see I'm still using the model because guys, the model shotgun is so underrated in survival mode. It is. Beast of a weapon, it's so powerful. You do get the hit markers at round one, which I had, and I hate dogs so much. <laughs> you have no idea how much I hate dogs. I despise them. And there goes my body armor at round three, which is a shame, I hope. So that's my body armor a lot more than a couple of rounds. So, anyway, guys, you can see I'm still using the mod. I'm not using my LMG because there's not much point to using it and hit markers. And Another tip guys, you might see me just getting hit by dogs a lot because I've got very, 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 very little game volume on. So I can so I can actually hardly hear anything. So I'm relying on my sixth sense, my Call of Duty sense to tell where the enemies are and my, the radar helps I guess a bit. So there's um, the this round is quite a long round and guys I'm doing this in three parts and each part I think is about twenty odd minutes, so I think the game takes 54 minutes, and it's a shame when I die, it was a real shame, I thought I was going to get further than I did. So anyway guys, there's round 3 complete, and now round 4 is the big round. If you haven't got prepared for round 4, you are pretty much doomed from here on. Now guys, I'm going to utilise a brand new tactic of mine, which is using the airstrike. Usually I say, keep a pretty in your back pocket, but in this gameplay, the airstrike is a lifesaver many many times and guys you might be thinking why have i rushed the equipment box instead of buying an extra gun well simple as c4 this c4 here will severely injure the juggernaut when it comes i'm just chucking as much five pieces of c4 then i will leave the juggernaut over there later on and at the start of this round i'm just going to use the model as i do every round i treat it as a normal round and my biggest tip for the juggernaut rounds is to take down them friggin AO6 Overwatch slash Cobra, whatever they are, because they are the most annoying thing, and you'll see when I die, I get killed by them the majority of the time, which is quite 
which is mo the most annoying thing about the AS if they've watched, is the fact that they come in and absolutely murder me repeatedly. So now guys, you'll see, I think the Juggernaut's coming when there's about five enemies left or something like that, so I'm not sure exactly when they're coming. So I think it's like five enemies left on the map, then they come in. And I hate them friggin' dogs. And here comes the Juggernaut. My other tactic is try and kill as many brown hostiles, and guys, I don't know how the hell I didn't go down there. <laughs> I took a lot of damage, and anyway guys, this is... This is mad. This this is madness, this round is. It's an early round, and there's so many enemies, and now look, I can flank them, caught them all by surprise. So anyway, guys, there's only two enemies left, which is the Jugabooby, or Juggernaut, as you call it. And... And this Pope, AO6 Overwatch. I take that down relatively quickly, which is good. Easy going. And now I look your way around here for the Juggernaut to come at me. They can hit the C4 and I can see over there. I could have shot it a few times, probably injured it a bit, but I don't even bother. So now I just wait around the corner waiting for it to come in. I know this bit's a bit boring. And I just, guys, I don't know how this C4 doesn't kill it. You'll watch when it explodes. That's right next to it. I'm like, what the hell? So shotgun. Panic knife, fail, shotgun, fail, shotgun, shotgun kill, finally. So you can see the model's really good and really powerful. Now guys, my biggest tip for your flashbangs are critical in this game. You'll see me use them again and again and again to escape from difficult situations. So guys, you can see at the moment it's only round 5. I'm still rocking out with the model. Getting shot in the back already. I'm not happy about that. So now guys, here comes my favourite gun to survive mode. The P90. It is such a beautiful weapon. I I would have bad with this skin. I won't, I won't lie. I love this gun that much. This is so, so good. <laughs> I know that's wrong, guys. I'm sorry if you are saying that, but the P90 is that good to survive mode. You'll see, I run around with a sub machine gun. I only use a light machine gun when I'm trying to run out of ammo. That's my tip with it, really. I don't like the LMG for running around because it's slow. Which is a shame, if it was just a bit quicker and I can't, and I was teabagging around me, I'd take bother. I don't know why. There you go. In one, I le use less than 100 bullets. What makes survival mode really good is the fact that you can keep buying ammo. As you can see, I'm just pulling through these rounds because, I I don't want to hang around. That's my honest opinion, I don't like hanging around. And anyway, guys, I'm going to use, I'm still using the C4, not just for the nor for the juggernauts. I use them during the normal rounds as well because these are mega. C4s are more effective than fighting at these rounds, so I just run around, I'm just, guys, I hear a lot of YouTubers saying you need to camp for these high rounds, and my tip is, no, you don't need to camp, the best thing you can do is, <laughs> sorry, that was a good C4, and another one, the best thing you can do is keep running and watching that radar, just keep watching it, that mini, that mini map is going to save your life more times than I can count, and watch this C4, utilising it, that's a triple kill, there, yeah. That's another kill, and I throw another one, and I'd say I don't throw another one, so I just spray them down my P90, so wave 6, I took so little damage then, really low damage, and you can see, I'm not even struggling guys, I don't start struggling until the 20s, and I don't think I go down in this part, I don't think I'm that bad at the game, I don't go far, I have gone down before at round 2, that was a long story, and now guys, I'm filling up my equ equipment as much as I can, I have $17, Yes, I'm good at the game. Now, claymores, I say, guys, are just good for slowing down enemies. Not for killing, just for slowing down. However, you'll see them actually injure the Juggernaut. Which is quite funny, because I was not expecting to go off near the start of this and I see, well, I mean, like, dogs. I keep getting caught by surprise with them. And even though I've got a red dot, guys, I still hit fire a lot. And, guys, you'll notice I've still got stam them up on. Well, because I Juggernaut um, Slayer Pound is a critical player, yes, for it, but you can survive without it for quite a few pounds. And this is the first round with Suicide Bombers. Now, Suicide Bombers do more damage to the enemies than they do to the high. That's what I believe. However, do, don't get too close. And that shotgun is pretty powerful. The UCAS 12. It is a pretty powerful shotgun. And it does a lot of damage. So, what more? And the thing is, I love what our fact of the matter is. I how much I flank and confuse them, which is really entertaining. So you can see that I see see the confusion. That shotgun, see how much damage that did? That must have that was a direct hit and it really hurt. <laughs> I, I would expect that from a shotgun though, wouldn't you if you got shot with a shotgun, I think it would. It might leave a small scratch on the surface, you know. 
So guys, I hope you're enjoying this gameplay, and I, I, I will admit that survival mode is one of my favourite things in MW3. I love survival mode, it's just fun to play, and what's unfortunate is the fact that my explosive life cut that because we had a terrific storm where I live. It was ridiculously heavy rain, I've never seen rain like it, my road was like a river. And now guys, you can see my ammo starting to run a bit low, so I switched to my um, heavy machine gun, which is, well, let's be honest, it's half of that. See what I mean? You can tell how we've got any game volume on because it's so... I can't hear the dogs, they just bite me up. Like, where, where did that come from? You can see I was going to reload there, but I panic knife instead. Let me get the kill. You can see, usually there's an empty area of the map where you can go to sort of regroup. And I just spray down with my machine gun. This is how I love the machine That's why I say, keep the machine gun in your backpack. You never know what's going to use. So you can see that I get over two... I get loads of points there. Absolutely tons of points because I'm just keep getting them down, so maybe guys, I would even say do a, a train tactic, maybe, maybe just build for the enemies and then spread them down with a heavy machine gun to get maximum points. So hey guys, we're coming up to the next Juggernaut round, I think this is the round, so I get my kill streaks now. See, I could buy a Delta Squad, or something like that I could have done, but I don't. I try and decide what I'm going to do, and I change my mind, I decide to get sleight of hand on quite quickly. I'm thinking this is the round which I need to slap hand. Now guys, you still going up? No. I buy an airstrike just for a change. I thought I'll use it for a change. And I'm surprised how effective the airstrike is. I will not lie. I was surprised. <laughs> but what I'll say is a predator missile, if you've got another teammate to protect you, is the best. I used the predator missile later on. However, it's still difficult to use. And look, here come the juggernauts. And I hear that dog. My sixth sense told me there was a dog for me. Now guys, when you watch this video, the sound might seem quite loud to you, but for me, the sound was so quiet, I could not hear it in the slightest. So you can see, I'm, what I'm doing now is taking out the ground enemies mostly, and then I'm going to spray by the juggernaut already. And I've got to look out for the AO6 overwatch, because I'm spraying down now, hopefully I, should, I get it down before it shoots me, which is the great idea. So now I've only got the ground enemies after me, which is... Alright really, I don't mind the ground enemies, now watch this airstrike guys. I kill the dog there and you're going to watch my point. Look all the enemies that come there, and then here it comes 250. Then you just hear, hit, 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 hit. That's the juggernaut taking a hell of a beating. That was the juggernaut taking a hell of a beating. So now guys, that airstrike might think it didn't kill anyone, but it did the damage which I needed. It gave me the time to also escape. And I see a flashbang down there. It's, and I don't know how... The, Guys, leave a comment, how the hell that guy was not affected? And then the juggernaut, I go, oh, sugar. And I run. A good tactic is just to run. Run away. Isn't, that's my biggest tactic to you guys, is just to run away. And you can see the juggernaut. I think the scariest thing I've ever seen in Modern Warfare 3 is a running juggernaut. That is a fact. I'm so scared of him. Especially, look at that. He was so running at me, and that's terrifying. I don't know about you, but it is absolutely terrifying to see. A tank of a, ju a tank effectively coming towards you, running. Like, it's one of the scariest things in the game. And a three C four, and it didn't kill him. What the hell? How did that not kill him? And I, I guys, I will admit that I was incredibly lucky to kill him. Now, guys, I usually do my videos in between ten and fifteen minute parts. However, for once, I did this in a twenty minute part. I thought I'd go up to twenty minutes. I hope you guys don't mind. Leave a comment if you prefer. In shorter parts or slightly longer parts so I prefer doing a 20 minute segment because it's a little bit easier for me and it worked out better now the AK is out now guys and see I run out that guy and I knife him guys even though the knife is not the most deadly thing in the game of course back now it's weak it takes two knives to kill someone but injuring that player is all you need and the double C4 there I'm waiting I'm waiting I'm waiting and I'm still waiting and I go away and then that was a quad. I think that was a triple, triple feed. Now, guys, you'll see me spray down a load. And the thing is, you'll see, the thing is, you unlock the barrack for the one of the last ones. I have never used a sniper on survival mode. I think the, I think it's, you might as well use a handgun. I prefer a pistol rather than a sniper level. So, what I'm really, really going to say, guys, is that my tip is flashbang, C4, claymores, and Later on, get body armor for them pesky claymores, which which the enemies put down. And you'll see me die by them quite a few times, which is a shame, really, because I was hoping I wouldn't die by them. And now I'm using my proper machine gun. Now the thing is, look at that machine gun, how much raw power that's got. 
and I'm spraying at that kid around the corner as you do every day of these. Now guys, this area here is another critical area of the map which I use. When I use, I use this area of the map because of this thing, it's got a straight road and it's straight fetch path all the way down to the other area of the map. And you'll see me later in the video using this area really effectively. I'm going to stop calling in my right shield squad. You'll find that I use them for sacrificial bait mostly and not for the end of the series. Which is a shame really because I don't like using them for sacrificial bait. But during the situation, it was better because I could use my airstrikes and my predator missiles much more effectively. So what you're seeing now guys is the fact that the enemy is so predictable. Are so predictable, you can see them. And you might think, well that's obvious because they're going to keep running at you. However, let's be honest, they don't just run at you. They are they are smarter than that guys, aren't they? Give them some credit for it. They do, they do flank quite a lot. If you go too far one way, they will try and flank around you, especially in this area. I say this area is a pretty nasty area to get caught in, which is annoying. So you can see guys, it's already round 12 and you see I am caught in a Raja squad, I've used one airstrike. I haven't done anything else apart from that. So, anyway guys, sorry I got distracted then, sorry. It's, um, it's, it's terrible outside again, it's a nasty, we've got another storm brewing in and it's pretty horrible out there, I won't lie. And that, see that, that dog, that Suicide bomb blocked my way, which was really irritating because I wanted to run away, so I took a lot of damage and I have died before this again. So, guys, you're going to see the ultimate use of people. That was a bit risky in there. See, so that was um, another double kill, which slowed them down. And that's all I do, guys, is really slow them down. C4 at this round is still really effective, I won't lie. I love using C4 on this game. But use it to slow them down more to kill. Slowing down the enemy is what you need to escape. Flashbangs as well. So guys, anyway, it is now coming up to round 13. I'm I'm thinking here, is it another juggernaut round? Is it a juggernaut round coming up? So I'm not sure. So I decided to go up to round round 13 and just hope that it's not. Let's be honest, I'm praying it's not because I'm really I've got enough ammo. Yes, but I really don't have the speed. I don't have the. So I'm not. I don't really want one. Let's be honest. I don't think many players go yes. Here comes a juggernaut round. Yes, I'm really excited for it. So, so it's really funny. So it's really funny, guys. Anyway, <laughs> this is a very long commentary. It's the longest co commentary I've ever done. So, give me credit. And it's light at night again, guys. I'm sorry. I've had about four hours sleep as I do, and I've been really busy today. And it is a juggernaut round. And this is the biggest fail with an airstrike I've ever done. It bounced off, and I was just like, oh my god, I've wasted all that points. But now, I went, whoa, it didn't kill many, but flipping out, it took down an attack helicopter for Cobra, which is what I wanted. So that's annoying, and <laughs> I'm just using my claimers now. And you can see, guys, look, they flanked me. I didn't expect them to flank, I expected them to all follow me. So, and so I've got to take some damage, and I'm like, okay, so I'm pretty good now. I'm really good. I'm, it's only round and I jumped down, I spray him down, and I was like, okay, that was quite easy, relatively easy. That was relatively easy, that round, so I'm feeling. Guys, I won't lie, I was feeling good. I was thinking, I, I thought, I'm going to go for a high round here. I knew I was going to go for a high round here. And you see another airstrike in my back pocket. I don't think I used this airstrike for a while yet. Yeah, so. Anyway, guys, still got my LMG, still got my P90 combo. And all I've got to do is buy ammo. That's all I have to do is just to buy ammo for it. And fight the P90 has got unbelievable amount of firepower for its round. And... Them stupid, stupid dogs, and the stupid, stupid, flipping Nova chemical ones, which are really, really irritating. So, so anyway, guys, I'm getting really distracted. Sorry, it is like really late at night. And I'm incredibly tired. Incredibly tired. So I'll only be able to do one or two co commentaries tonight. So for you, I'm, which I'm afraid to say. I'll, I wish I could do more, but I'm so tired. And I was thinking, it tempted to use my airstrike here, and I was like, should I? Should I? But then I realised nah, I've got a P9. I might as well spray. 
my bullets down, which is great for Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm getting really distracted. I'm sorry. I'm watching. I'm really distracted. Anyway, oh, this is the juggernaut round. Sorry, guys. I thought the last one was a juggernaut round. Oh god, I'm getting mixed up in my old age. Lol. Sorry. Leave a comp. Leave a like for that just epic fail by me. And look at this. This is the first round when I start thinking, oh god. This is the first round which I go, yeah, I'm gonna need some support here. And look, them stupid chemical one. They. They cost me later on the game. There's another one. I don't know which ones are worse than chemical ones. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I was like, ow. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, the claymores or chemical ones, because the claymores can kill you, yes, straight away. However, however, the chemical ones slow you down. You can be massacred by the juggernauts if they happen at the wrong time. Damn, guys, this commentary is racking up. I'm sorry for the epic fail at that round. I don't know that tells you how late it is here. And you can see, I, this area I'm vitalizing and... I finally shoot down that cobra, so now guys you can see that the juggernaut, there's a couple of juggernauts left and I just put down a load of C4, guys this is the ultimate way to kill a juggernaut so anyway guys, please, 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 I'll get this rubbish out of the way now at the end of the video, please like, subscribe, comment, the usual rubbish stuff, 10 pieces C4 versus 2 juggernauts here we go, 3, 2, 1, now oh, wiped out, so anyway guys, peace out, peace out, hope you enjoyed it so peace out again.